Look guys, there are a lot of fish here. There is dolphin, guys. Dolphins communicate using various methods, including sound, body movements, and gestures. They often use sound to interact with other dolphins and to respond to their environment, such as using clicks, whistles, and other sounds. Body movements like leaping, head shaking, or displaying teeth can also be part of their communication. Wow! Guys? This is shark. Sharks survive from predators through various ways, depending on the species. Some common strategies include using their speed and swimming prowess, their ability to detect prey from afar, and defending themselves with their sharp teeth. Some sharks also hide on the ocean floor or amidst other schools of fish to evade predators. Wow! Guys there is blue whale. In the 1900s, there was a massive blue whale hunt. Records show about 380,000 blue whales were caught. The aim of hunting blue whales is to extract fish oil which comes from the fat of these giant mammals. Blue whale oil is widely used in oil lamps and to make soap and margarine. Wow guys this is lemon shark. Usually the names of sharks in the open sea have the meaning, fierce or strong. However, the name lemon shark may sound a little strange to our ears because the name is far from being, fierce, from the shark family. The name of the lemon shark comes from the characteristics of its skin and fins. Subscribe guys! Wow! This is Gurnard fish. The flying Gurnard fish is a unique species of fish that has wings and legs. This fish is one of the species Dactylopterus volatans. A type of fish that lives at the bottom of the ocean. The name, Gurnard, for this fish comes from the French word, Gurnard, which means, purr, because this fish is known to make a sound like a snoring sound. Wow guys! This is octopus. Octopuses live in oceans all over the world. Some octopuses live near the surface of the water in shells, reefs and crevices. Some species live on the ocean floor. Octopuses tend to be solitary, although they sometimes interact with other octopuses. Wow! This is stingray. A unique fact about starfish is that the shield is a stiff shell that has a rough texture, even thorny, depending on the species. Starfish have a layer of calcium carbonate with tiny spines that deter fish, birds and even sea otters from attacking them. Guys! There is hermit crab. The hermit crab will shed its old shell and make its body unable to move for some time, as if it were dead. Even though they are small, hermit crabs actually have quite a long lifespan, you know. Hermit crabs in the wild can live for 30 years. Wow guys! This is large mouth bass. Large mouth bass, also known as the Queensland grouper, is generally aggressive when it comes to hunting for food. They often hide in coral crevices or among rocks, waiting for their prey to appear. Giant groupers are also known as effective predators, utilizing their size and strength to catch fish and other marine creatures. Guys! This is crab. The presence of claws on crabs is not just to decorate the body, these crab claws play a very important role in hunting. Maybe there are still some people who don't realize it, but crab claws are very strong and large. There was even a study to measure the strength of this animal's claws. Guys! There is lobster. Lobsters usually have two pincers of different sizes. 
The larger one is a crusher, used to crush prey. The smaller one consists of two claws, functions as a cutter or conqueror. Its purpose is to tear prey and shape it into small pieces. Subscribe guys! Look guys! Let's look over there. This is Decapodiforms. Decapodiforms is a superorder of Cephalopoda consisting of all cephalopod species with 10 limbs, specifically 8 short arms and 2 long tentacles. Wow! There is Mosasaurus. Mosasaurus evolved around 100 million years ago, and diversified by 66 million years ago. This sea monster is thought to have become extinct and a giant asteroid hit Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, plunging the world into darkness. There is clownfish. This clownfish has a layer of mucus covering its entire body. This mucus layer is said to protect clownfish from various poisons that have the potential to threaten their lives. This is also the reason why clownfish can have a symbiotic mutualistic relationship with sea anemones. Sea anemones are actually not dangerous, but there are several types of sea anemones that are poisonous. Guys! This is squid. Squids have the extraordinary ability to change the color and pattern of their bodies. This is not only for the attractive appearance, but also as a form of communication with other squid. These color changes can include pattern shape, color intensity, and can even be used for camouflage. Guys! This is Ammonite. Ammonites continue to make new shells as they grow, but they live outside the shell. They walk through the warm shallow ocean while spraying water radiating from their bodies. A thin, pipe-like structure called a siphuncle leads into the shell's interior chamber to pump and suck in air that helps them move through the water. Subscribe guys! Guys! Can you see that? Wow! Guys, this is Blue Spotted Ray. Some species of Blue Spotted Rays have spiny protrusions on their dorsal surfaces, which can help protect them from predators by providing physical defense. Some ray species, including some Blue Spotted Rays, can generate electricity to defend themselves from predators or even to catch prey. Blue Spotted Rays can swim swiftly to evade approaching predators. Wow! There is jellyfish. Apparently, jellyfish can be found in every ocean in every corner of the earth, starting from the coldest frozen waters in the Arctic oceans to the warm and temperate waters of the tropical oceans. This animal can live in different water conditions and at different depths. Wow, this is boxfish. Boxfish are not poisonous like puffer fish. Its spotted skin like a leopard, its small mouth, and the hexagon shape of its shell easily make people think this fish is strange. Maybe even similar to ancient fish. Therefore, no one sells this fish here, it is probably considered inedible. There is spotted eagle ray. The spotted eagle ray usually eats fish, crustaceans, such as crabs, shrimp and hermit crabs, it also eats mollusks such as bivalves, sea snails and octopus. Spotted eagle rays have special teeth for crushing shelled mollusks. Wow guys, there is hammerhead shark. The hammerhead shark, Sperna spp, possesses several adaptations that aid in their survival in the marine environment. 
Their distinctive physical characteristics, such as the hammer-shaped head, assist in maneuvering and detecting prey. Additionally, their powerful swimming abilities and fast swimming speed enable them to hunt for prey and evade potential predators. Thank you for watching guys.